probably one of the most controversial sets released in a while for reasons we'll get on to later on. Rex's wiring microfire is a nice little set and a great addition to the microfire series. Let's take a look at it. This set being set number 75391 is another addition to the microfire series which I really really like. You get a nice little ship and a minifigure all for a lowish price and this one is no different. You get Rex's wiring ship which is based on his ship from the clone Wars through to the dawn of the Galactic Empire and the Rex minifigure himself which looks really really cool. It does include one mechanical feature which is these stud shooters on the side but besides that there's nothing else on this set. I did manage to get this set a little bit early and therefore I paid full retail price of $11.99 which does seem like a bargain when you're getting a minifigure from a £350 set but I do have a theory on that which I'll get onto later on. On the box we see the microfire in all of its glory with Rex sat in the cockpit Pit, firing a stud at his enemy. In the background it looks like he's flying over a scrap rod and if you look closely you can see a bit of a Veneta class ship. Turn the box around we see the ship again but with Rex out and exploring the scrapyard. In the top right corner we get a better look at the mechanical feature included and that pretty much sums up what's on the box. Inside the box we find two bags full of parts, no stickers, a little box for one of Rex's accessories and instructions for the build. And uh, this is what it looks like built. It's bigger than I thought it would be compared to how big I guessed it was going to be from pictures I've seen. Here it is compared to the last microfire I reviewed, the Mandalorian M1 Starfighter. I did make a comment about it being a bit too blocky in my video about the summer wave of new sets, which you can watch here. I did however make a mistake, as this microfire isn't based on the Rebels Y-Wing, which we have had as a microfire before, but is instead based on the Y-Wing that the Republic used during the Clone Wars, and it depicts this very very well. The build was nice and easy so it didn't take long at all and the mechanical features work as expected. On to the minifigure and before we begin we have to address the elephant in the room. Yes this is the same minifigure as the Venator set but I do have a theory on why they might have done this. Now Lego did say this was exclusive there's no getting around that unfortunately and that in itself can be interpreted in several ways. It could have been a timed exclusive or exclusive for that set. The latter of which obviously not been the case. However, look at it this way. By releasing this minifigure in a more expensive set to begin with, they've sort of distorted how much of a bargain this set is seen as. So people will want to buy it more because it seems like more of a bargain for what it actually is. Which makes me think, did LEGO do this on purpose? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Saying all that though, it is great to see this minifigure available to people at a lower cost, and the minifigure itself features a lot of printing, including the torso and back with some printing appearing on the arms as well as the legs. It does come with the usual accessories for a clone trooper as well as the shoulder pauldron which really makes this minifigure stand out. Overall this is a nice little set that I really enjoy building and it definitely deserves its place among the best of the microfighter series so far. The minifigure is obviously amazing there's absolutely no doubt about that with the amount of printing and his accessories making him probably the best minifigure we've ever got in these sets. The main question though, is the price actually good though? For £11.99 you get a 99 piece build and an above average minifigure which when you put it that way does make it seem a little bit steep. If you can help yourself and not want to buy this set because of the minifigure I would say wait until a sale to get this but undoubtedly they will absolutely will sell out literally everywhere and they will probably be in the second hand market for above RRP because that's just how it goes these days apparently. <laughs> but what do you guys think of this set? Will you be buying it? Let me know in the comments section below and I will see you guys in the next video.